Welcome back. You're watching SABC News Prime. The overall crime statistics have dropped marginally. Still, 53 people are being killed every single day. Police Minister Natin Hleko briefed Parliament today. The stats are for the period between April to December of last year. An incremental drop. So hold the celebrations for now. Police say a lot still needs to be done to effectively fight crime. Over 1.3 million dockets were opened for serious reported crimes. This is some 21,000 cases less than the previous year, or a drop of 1.6%. All four categories of reported crimes are down. These include murder, sexual offenses, carjacking, house robberies, and commercial crimes. Most provinces have recorded marginal decreases in the number of reported crimes. Seven of the nine provinces showed declines in crime, with the Eastern Cape and Bumalanga registering marginal increases. While the percentages may show a marginal decrease in the reported crime category, a closer inspection into the real numbers shows that South Africa still has huge crime statistics. 53 people were murdered in the country per day and 111 people were raped per day. Carjacking rose with 47 motorists hijacked per day. Homeowners who suffered burglaries stood at 687 per day. There were 201 commercial crimes per day for the same period. We should all of us be concerned about that. the question of trio crimes. They seem to be quite uh, there with us and pers persistently looking at an upward kind of uh, a traje trajectory and so on. So we need to to definitely zoom into this and, and, and deal with this uh, problem. It requires from us, and that's uh, exactly the discussion we have with the provincial commissioners. We are going into a session uh, from Sunday to Tuesday dealing amongst others with this to say what are our plans to be able to turn uh, the situation um, around. Meanwhile, crimes detected by police, including illegal firearms, possession of drugs and drunk driving, are showing a positive sign. They have secured over 23,000 more arrests or a 9% increase. Ulilani Philip. SABC News, Parliament.